Hi guys and welcome to my kitchen on this Saturday evening where today we are going to be making the Weight Watchers Zero Point Moroccan Style Veggie Shepherd's Pie. So, in this pan here I have some calorie control spray, I have two medium carrots, um, two sticks of celery and two uh, red onions and you can see I've just diced that all up and I'm just frying that off to uh, make it a little bit soft. You can see Omar for his tea, he's having, it smells amazing what he's having guys, he's having some lovely mint and what? Coriander chili. Basically a mint curry chicken, oh it uh, smells amazing. Um, but yeah, on this side of the pan, we're doing vegan, guys. <laughs> but it is going to be as... As all my come down with me, people can vouch that my shepherd's pie is amazing. So this 0.1 will be as good, I promise you. So as I said, I've got the carrots, the onions and the celery just frying away. Um, let me just go back to my uh, instructions. Okay, so I've just heated that on a medium heat for eight to 10 minutes until softened. Now add the mushrooms. So I've got 250 grams of mushrooms. If Diane's watching shortly, you'll be pleased to know I have weighed those. <laughs> on my weight watcher scales. So that's 250 grams of You can see I probably need there a bigger pan, to be honest with you, but I've, uh, I've managed to force the mushrooms in there. Hi Janice and Omar, yes. Thank you very much. Um, so add the mushrooms, garlic and spices. Now because I'm not a big fan of um, garlic, I'm not gonna put the garlic in. Um, what I'm gonna put in now is cinnamon. Okay, so cinnamon, cumin. Oh, I love a bit of cumin. Um, and then some chili flakes. So again, depending on how hot you want it, guys, be careful with these, because these are hot. Um, and then cook for a further two minutes. So I'm just going to keep that moving while I've got all those lovely spices in there. And it's really nice, you know, that a lot of these recipes have got things like uh, cinnamon in. Obviously, that's making it the Moroccan style. Now, for those of you who don't know, I did have a boyfriend from Morocco for some time. So I've got a love-hate relationship with the sight of the word mo Morocco. I did love the food, though, to be honest. Um, so that's all mixed in. It's getting a bit dry. I think it's time to add the wet ingredients. Okay, so stir in the lentils. Now, I've got a tin here of green lentils, so that's green lentils, and you pour the whole tin in, including the water. So again, for all those people out there that are wondering where the protein's coming from, ooh, look, it's like frog spawn in the bottom there, that's awful. Let me just uh, get the last few out. You see, the more we cook, the more uh, Omar's, Omer's, dinner looks more appetizing. Right, so that's the green lentils now in. Old Trace is here. Good evening, my dear. So we are putting a bit of moisture in there. As I said, it was getting a bit dry. You can see already just by the size of this pan, if uh, 10 or 20 of you want to come round to eat tonight, <laughs> I'm all ready. <laughs> And obviously, uh, you could try and steal some from Omar if uh, you want some chicken. Um, so next, we're going to add into here uh, chopped tomatoes and the stock, okay? So what I've got is 250 ml of vegetable stock. So obviously, that's just a stock cube with water. So I'm going to pour that in. And then I've just got a tin of chopped tomatoes so nice and easy chop tomatoes in 
And I'm happy to say that's all my ingredients now thrown into this big pan. And all we need to do is simmer this. So this is that lovely mixture. And obviously with the lentils in there, especially for vegans, it's giving you the vital protein, um, but also just giving you that texture as well. A lot of the products that I've been having, like when I've been having these zero point foods the other day, um, the ones that didn't have the chickpeas in, that you're li literally eating just vegetables. And the problem with that is A, nutritionally, you've got to have your protein because you're going to be hungry very quickly afterwards. Um, and also, as I said, for the texture as well, you just feel like you, you, know, you want to eat something. So then what we do is just simmer this for, let me tell you what the recipe says, for 10 minutes, okay? And then we transfer this, uh, this is the bottom bit, um, and obviously then we're going to do the top bit, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. Um, we've got a question there asking what is Omar cooking? So he's cooking... Um, Mint, coriander and chilli. Mint, coriander and chilli curried chicken, basically. Just smells divine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wash this and you can have this. Oh no, it's okay, I don't need it. Yeah. But you see how... Uh, you see how lovely he is, guys, for those of you that... Uh, are still looking for a man. You need to have a man that's that considerate. While you're cooking, he says to you, oh, I'll wash this one and let you use it if you want to. How many of your husbands out there can say they do that? Never. <laughs> <laughs> We're not married, by the way. Uh, right, Janice, uh, not watching Love Island tonight. Uh, well, Love Island tonight is like a highlight show. So unless you've missed some through the week, I don't generally watch it on a Saturday. Um, and I'm not doing anything else. That's why I'm cooking. Because obviously, the problem is, you know, when you haven't got something planned, when you're not doing anything, you don't generally just eat. This is why it's really important to make something um, zero points when you're not doing anything. Maureen, hi Jodie, will you both be eating vegan? Might see you tomorrow. Uh, no, Omar is definitely not eating vegan. He loves the old protein. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow. Yes, Maureen. 12.20 at Burton Cine World. Uh, Janice saying it sounds lovely. Yes, it does sound absolutely lovely. So that's good, just going to simmer away. And obviously now I'm going to show you the magic. Because normally when I've made those other ones, I put a sweet potato top on it. But sweet potato is still high in points on Weight Watchers. So here's something I prepared earlier. <laughs> now remember when I told you that story about the butternut squash? Well, I've had my hand up a butternut squash again today. And I took out the seeds. But this time, I didn't chop it or anything. What I've done is literally just baked it. So it's like making a baked potato, but you obviously just bake that. And that's been in there for an hour, okay? And all I'm now gonna do is scoop out, scoop out, what's the word? Scoop out the stuff. Okay, the soft stuff, mash it, and that is going to be the top. So I'm hoping it will taste as good as the sweet potatoes. Um, and obviously, you don't want to hang around and watch me mashing that up and obviously simmering this. So what I'm going to do is take a photo when it's done and also share the recipe. But thank you, everybody, for joining me on this lovely Saturday evening. Um, tomorrow... I'm going to be making a lovely soup, a butter bean soup. So the vegan zero point Weight Watchers recipes continue. <laughs> right guys, as always, if you've got any questions, if you've got any recipe ideas, um, I'd love for you to share me your favourite low calorie and low point recipe ideas and I'll gladly make them. And obviously if they're vegan and they're gluten free, I'll do them in the next two weeks. So goodbye from the six pounds less new Jody this week. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.